everybody, it's Bunny. Welcome to a video that has both no point and maybe a point. I found this thing at Target today and I rarely freaking go to Target, but you guys told me I could get a spoolie brush, which I guess is the technical term for this little thing, from Target for like a dollar and I went there today and I guess people in Texas do not care about having neat and well-groomed eyebrows because they don't have them at my Target. I looked in like eight different beauty aisles for like eight hours and zero a spoolie brush was to be found. But like what always happens when I go somewhere for a purpose is I get distracted by 37 other porpoises and I was, you know, wandering through the aisles and I saw this little doohickey right here, which if you guys know, I love curling my hair a lot lately. Ever since I saw The Rum Diary, I've been really into curling my hair one thing really has no correlation or anything to do with the other. I just put the two together and it sounded great in my head and I was like, yeah, this should happen. So every time you've seen me with my hair like curled or styled lately, I've just been curling it with my Chi flat iron, but I don't know. I was like, maybe I could have better curls or nicelier formed curls or it would be easier or faster if I got some actual curling device. But I didn't want a normal curling device because like, Seriously, those ones where you like clip it on the end and somehow turn it, like every time I've ever tried to do that, I get a third degree. What? Did y'all see that? My lamps just turn themselves off. Excuse me for a minute while I fix this conundrum. Well, that was really bizarre, wasn't it? Never been able to use a traditional like clippy, turny uh, curling iron without it getting stuck in my hair and then my hair burns and my skin burns because I'm touching it with my skin hands and it's just really bad. So I found this device, even though it has the clippy thing at the end, I just, it just, it looks different, doesn't it? And they promise you that it's gonna be made simple and blah 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 and you'll look like a billion dollars. So I thought I would try this for you guys and it would be like a non-official, you know, just review. But not really, but maybe. I can't even open the box. Criticism one. Can't open the box. Maybe it's because I currently have no fingernails. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. We are gonna get some scissors and it is gonna be a hostile environment. Mm. Okay, so I thought that this would be like a good random vlog that I could do because maybe it would be slightly informative and helpful, but also it would give me the chance to just ramble with you guys because those are my favorite kind of videos to make, honestly, where I can just talk to you guys as if you're all sitting here with me right now. My bathroom. And no, I don't film on the toilet for anyone who asks me that. Wouldn't that just be creepy? That is something I don't want to do. I draw the line at toilet filming, honestly. Ugh! This is just... Okay, goody. We need to package it simpler. Yeah, so they promise you it's gonna be easy and yada yada yada. And you know what? I'm not gonna read the instructions because I don't, I don't play that way. I'm just gonna plug this sucker in and and we're gonna roll with it. That's how we do it on the small, okay? We ain't got time for instructions, all right? We gotta be grabbing gators. We don't read. We do not read on the swamp. That's not meant to be insulting, by the way. Does anybody ever take that insultingly? It's actually a compliment. Also, alarmingly, this thing says that it heats up to 410 degrees. I'm not sure I should be holding something that heats up to 410 degrees so close to my face but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm probably gonna end up looking like one of those sewer rats that people mistake for chihuahuas. Y'all remember that story from Are You Afraid of the Dark? Not Are You Afraid of the Dark. Mmm. I did love that show though. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Alvin Schwartz. Y'all remember that story? This kid's parents, they went to Mexico and they picked up this dog. And they brought it home and then like four days later the dog was sick and they called a vet and then the vet was like, this is not a dog, it is a sewer rat and it has rabies and you are all gonna die. And I'm just like, you know, how could you ever mistake a dog for a rat? Just, is that possible? I'm pretty sure nine. Oh look, it's flashing red lights. We all know what success I had with flashing lights with my Dior curler. Oh, and ironically, Dior curler was $30. This was $30 from Target. I was gonna tell y'all all about my weird 
dreams that I've been having lately while I curl my hair. I was just, you know what? We should find out how long this takes. I'm sorry. I think I have AD, 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 H, AD, DH, AD. Oh, this only takes 30 seconds. I have the next 30 seconds to tell you guys about my strange dreams. Okay, so you guys know those dreams that you have and when you wake up, you're just like, oh, that was a cool dream and you just want to like live in that moment forever. I'm not about to tell you a dream like that. I don't know, it's still kind of cool. Or maybe, you know what, I should actually give y'all a comparison that's valid to this situation. You know when you have those dreams that you actually have mixed feelings about, where they're so vivid and kind of weird that you're like, oh, I had that dream. My brain thinks these awesome unconscious thoughts that I can't control. That's kind of what my dream was last night, and it's so ridiculous, and it's so embarrassing that I thought I would jump up on my channel while I'm curling my hair really badly. Oh look, this is for my own safety. I can touch this without burning my phalanges. And then we can psych psychology, psychology, improperly, we can improperly psychoanalyze my dream. There we go. There we go. This speaks volumes for my relationship issues, past, present, and future. I should really do a relationship, I mean relationship vlog. I'm sorry guys, I just cursed. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up a piece of my hair. Isn't this one of those times that y'all kind of wish I was like a legitimate vlogger of some sort so that I could like have these sick editing skills and be like, now for five seconds we're gently going to curl our hair. I still haven't even told y'all my dream yet because I'm pretending to be a legitimate beauty vlogger right now. I don't think that this is real, you guys. I think this is going directly back to Target. I think I'm about to look like a rat chihuahua. Oh my God, and it's stuck in my hair. Oh, that looks impressive. Now, if I only knew what the actual hell I was doing. I'm just gonna continue to do this improperly and horribly while I actually confess to you guys. Maybe if I pin back some of my rat hair. I'm really into rats today, can you guys tell? I think I'm really, really into rats because this week's My Strange Obsession or My Strange Addiction, I can't even separate the two anymore, is all about this woman having a freaking pet nutria, which if you live on the swamp, you already know what that is. So I had this dream and I was literally in some kind of cave, which I think is because I'm on Tumblr too much and I'm always reblogging photos of oceans and caves and trees because I love looking at pictures of nature. I don't actually like to be in nature. I like to be inside. That looks really gross. <laughs> this is getting grosser by the minute. So I was sitting in this cave, right? And this is where the embarrassing part comes in is that I was having, and I swear, you guys, I am I swear I am not still 12 and I don't have some kind of like mental delusion and I know I mentioned him so much on my channel that it's both disturbing and immature looking, but I'm just gonna do it. I had this dream that I was in some kind of like quasi relationship with Johnny Depp, which is just redonkulous, right? That's, the stupidest thing ever. Like no one knew that we had ever dated and nobody knew that we were ever together and yada yada yada. This looks terrible. He had given me these like little barrettes with diamonds on them. Who the hell gives somebody diamond barrettes? It's like, oh honey, I love you so much. You're the barrette. What is wrong with my brain? Like I'm actually psychologically concerned for my unconscious brain processes at this moment. So he had given me these like barrettes and he left me in this cave. It was like a cave with other people in it. There were like townspeople in this cave. We just lived in this cave. I felt like I had no friends though because I don't feel like anyone really talk to me in this cave. I just know that there were like other people around. So anyway, he had like left this cave, left me in this cave. I'm sitting in this cave with all these other cave people that don't talk to me and don't have anything to do with me. And uh, he left me with these diamond ass barrettes and he went off to like film some film somewhere because I, you know, that's what he does with life. So he had like promised me or whatever that when he got back to the cave after he filmed his latest movie that we were gonna be together. It was gonna be official. We were gonna be so officially together. And so there I was waiting and like I kept getting all these letters too. I don't know, it's something about letters. 
something about letters and he kept sending letters and I was like clutching these little diamond barrettes and I was like this is proof this is proof that I have love in my life and so we get somehow this cave paper somehow this cave paper comes to the cave and it was like announcing that he was like getting married to somebody and <laughs> this story makes no sense this is, the, this is officially the worst vlog I've ever made in my life so we get this cave newspaper that's like Johnny Depp getting married to somebody super cool and awesome and so there I was sitting with my little diamond barrettes in the cave and I was like it is so me it is so me and it is a surprise and nobody knows and boy is everybody gonna be so shocked when they find out I am his secret cave fiance and then like he came back and he was like nah I didn't mean you I meant this other chick and she's French and cool and I guess that's because he is or was actually married to like this French lady so I guess that was just like my mind actually filling in some kind of legitimate detail yeah he was like no and uh, I'm gonna need them diamond brits back <laughs> and I was like no you can't take it away from me you can't take my little diamond barrettes away so I don't know in my dream Johnny Depp cheated on me and stole my jewelry that should be the title of this vlog Johnny Depp stole my diamond jewelry. How many people would click on that? No one. They'd just be like, crazy girl, get off of YouTube now. No, so it was really, really tragic. And I kind of just feel that that's like a reflection on my own personal, like how all of my relationships go. And it's really sad. It's a really sad dream. I don't know, after he took the barrettes back, I just, I woke up and I legitimately felt sad for five seconds. Cause you know, sometimes even if you have a dream that's totally stupid about how you live in a cave and you date Johnny Depp secretly and he takes your diamonds away, that you momentarily wake up and you're like, oh God, why does my life suck so bad? This is reality. And then it takes you like 2.5 seconds to realize like, oh man, nah, I'm just in my lavender sheets right now. It's cool. I don't know. Was that a sad dream? I guess it wasn't like as disturbing as I once felt it was this morning. That was the most anticlimactic, unfulfilling story I feel like I've ever built up for 20 minutes before telling you guys. But I did have this other really cool dream and all my dreams lately have something to do with Paris or France. And I'm like, is this a sign that I need to go to Paris? Do any of y'all guys live in Paris? Can we hang out? Would it be cool? I have never been outside of the swamp, you guys. They don't let me out much. True story. So a couple weeks ago, I did have a really rad dream. It was also starring Paris, France. And I was in Paris, France. But Paris, France was not actually how things go. But this would be really cool if it is. No, oh, that looks terrible. Mm, I feel so bad at life. I really wish that this is how Paris was because I would so move to Paris and live in Paris forever. I dreamt that I was in Paris, you know, just to be redundant, and that everyone in Paris was actually not a person, but a giant hollow robot being that real people climbed into their heads and you rode around inside of these giant robot people. And I don't even know if I'm conveying this image properly, but you like climbed inside of these giant robot people and you lived inside of their heads and you just walked around in Paris and you were like 500 feet tall just however tall a giant robot person would be that's how tall they were and they looked so cool I don't even know how my brain thinks up these things sometimes because I'm just like whoa brain whoa cannot keep up with the coolness that you are thinking up for me right now this is disgusting and disturbing looking I think this is another $30 heat dispensing tool that I can't be friends with so these really rad futuristic robot people that were five million feet tall they had like spiky hair and they wore lipstick that was super metallic. I feel like Michael Jackson right now. Who's bad? Anyway, back to the giant robot people. They wore metallic lipstick, but it was like gold, gold, gold metallic lipstick, but they just wore it on the corners of their mouths. And I don't know why this dream has stuck with me so much, because that's really the only details that I still remember is riding in the heads of giant robot people and being in Paris, and I remember that they wore gold ass lipstick on the corners of their mouths. That's it. I'd rather have weird dreams that kind of make me feel sad or disturbed than like no dreams at all. I feel like I'm wasting my time by sleeping if I don't have a dream. I feel totally unfulfilled if I don't dream while I'm asleep. Do any of you guys not dream? Because 
People just tell me that they like do not dream and I'm like nah you dream you just don't remember it. They need to invent a box that they can like temporarily implant into our heads so they can record our dreams and we could just like watch this weird stuff replay while we're awake and how disturbing would that be? It would be awesome disturbing though. I would want to be disturbed in that manner. I feel like I should just give this up right now. I feel like this is Napoleon at Waterloo. That is my hair right now. I'm so glad I tried this when my hair was kind of like dirty because I can just go wash it now and then not have to deal with this anymore. But anyway, back to you guys. Are you guys having a good week? Are you having midterms or anything this week? I remember that when I had to do academia. I really want to start like some kind of book club slash and we might sneak a movie in every now and again on my channel where we can all like read a book together or watch a movie together and then like vlog about our findings. But I really don't want to do that while you guys are all still in school because that would suck. I'd be like, all right, Bunny's giving you some homework, guys. Better do it. So I hope you are all doing good in school and you're having a good week and I know it's Friday and we are all so excited. Other than that, I've just been gathering tie-dye this week like a hobo. So if you see me wearing nothing but tie-dye for the next three weeks, it's because that is my latest craze right now and all I want to wear is tie-dyed goods. So I've just been going everywhere and everywhere I find any kind of tie-dyed anything, I'm buying it. Like my house, my closet is like Ellis Island for tie-dyed objects. Why would I ever have a dream that Johnny Depp would try and steal my jewelry? I mean I know that everyone wants my rad alien enamel necklace but... <sighs> Can I even make this hair look okay? No, not in the least. This looks terrible. I look like a science experiment. This little Shirley Temple area though is almost kind of cute. Like see, maybe if my hair was like this length, that would be really cute, just really short. I'm just gonna pull it up. This is how I like solve all of my bad hair problems. I actually wanted to film my Urban Outfitters haul for you guys today too before. It is too late. I bought all that stuff this time last week when I was in Austin and I'm just now getting around to showing it to you guys. This looks great. Now I look like some kind of like cone head. Some kind of like Marie Antoinette cone head though. Like a classy cone head. A stylish cone head. A cone head with class. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go now for the day because I just, I have to stop right now. I will see you guys later. I hope this video was like moderately enjoyable. I know that this was the worst review ever of this product ever, but I would say if you have next to no skills and you are not good with clippy curling devices and you have really really long hair that this is probably not for you. You can share your weird dreams with me below or you can make a video response for me telling me about your weird dreams. That would be cool. Please take a moment to subscribe. Join the swamp party. Please continue to give alligators wings. You can like me on Facebook if you want. Facebook.com slash graveyard girl. You can leave me a comment down below to read because I love, love, love reading you guys' comments. And you can follow me on the Twitter at Graveyard Girl. Yes! Do I do something weird with my eyes when I roll my eyes too? Because a lot of people were saying that in the last comment. I can do weird things with my eyes because this is just a grotesque story. But yeah, I don't know. I had a piece of metal lodged into my eye once and they fished it out and now one of my eyes is kind of like a wonky lazy eye. So I think that that's why like my eyes can just be extra weird. I sure hope there's no mm, lipstick on my teeth by the end of today's video because that happened last time and I just can't help it, okay? I have big fish lips and gigantic horse teeth and those two animals should not combine. That's a bad example because there is a seahorse. This lipstick is so beautiful, it can be all over my teeth. I should just cover my teeth with this lipstick and just have a mouth that's all this color. That'd be great. You know, have people ever tried that? They should try that. They should do some weird photo shoot where that goes down and then it can be a new trend and then we can all put lipstick on our teeth and be really cool. I will see you guys later though. Bye. Concluding now. Okay. Bye.